One of the big changes in 10.4.2 is compiler speed improvements. So Matthias suggested that he noticed a significant improvement in Heidi SQL, so I thought I would test that real quick. This is 10.4.1, show that here, help about. 10.4.1, running on the bare hardware of my computer. This is my existing installation. You're gonna notice a lot more CPU activity than when I go into Hyper-V because Camtasia is recording the screen outside the VM. So you're gonna see that showing up here and just because you know I have other things running on here. But this has the full potential of the hardware. Everything else that you see running is gonna be running on the computer still, but you won't see it when I'm in the virtual machine. Enough of that. Plenty of RAM and plenty of cores available to it. So let's start with a clean. I guess I'm doing debug Win32 first. So let's do a build. I commented out mat accept and pre-compiled the resources which is required in order to do a build. So it did five seconds for Win32. Not the slowest install ever. And let's clean and build Win64. I mean, Delphi has never been the slowest <laughs> at building things. <laughs> I, granted, this is isn't the biggest biggest program. Uh, 7.6 seconds for Win64. So now let's fire up the Hyper-V virtual machine and take a look at it in there. So I'm in Hyper-V virtual machine. The CP utilization is much lower in here, although it does still spike up close to the same. But again, that's because Camtasia is recording on the host machine and not visible in here, even though it's all running on the same hardware. Uh, this does have the disadvantage of being virtualized, so there could be some slowdown from that. So in theory, if it was equal, this should be slower than the host computer. Uh, also, it doesn't matter how much memory I give it, it always reduces my memory availability to it because Hyper-V manages all that dynamically. So we'll start with Win32. This is the same code. I've pre-built, commented out, mat accept, and pre-built the resources. Win32, we got 3.3 seconds and Win64. Now, you may think I've done something to speed it up. So do your own test, download the trial, give it a shot. Seven seconds for Win64. I'll admit that I forgot what the times were <laughs> by the time I got to the end. So I went back and added a scorecard so you can keep track of the differences. And we see that Win32 is 40% faster, whereas Win64 is 8% faster. Your mileage may vary. I'm sure if I ran this a hundred times, I would get slightly different results, but great to see that there are some speed improvements in 10.4 to Sydney.